Hey, so this is going to be a really quick screencast just to look at uh, troubleshooting and fixing some rendering performance issues I spotted on a, a blog post, a, a website yesterday. Um, so what happened is CSS Weekly, fantastic newsletter, uh, it landed in my inbox and I was looking through and anybody who knows me knows I'm a real kind of uh, a real performance nut, right? I like making things faster. Uh, so this particular article here uh, stood out, you know, how to animate box shadow with silky smooth performance. So that was the first, uh, the first article I decided to open and it took me to, um, to this, this site here. As I was scrolling through, I noticed something. Um, you see how there was a bit of jank there. The screen seemed to, uh, you know, feel a bit like treacle scrolling through. Uh, so I noticed that, you know, kind of ironically, the, this article about performance did have some issues. Now just looking at this straight away, I could kind of pinpoint the problem as being uh, this position fixed advert here. I'm fairly certain that that's going to be what's causing this. Uh, what I decided to do then uh, was just to uh, to turn on paint flashing. So if you open your inspector, you know, open your dev tools, uh, and if you hit escape in this view, you'll find these options here. So console, emulation, rendering. We want to enable paint flashing. So now when I scroll the page, I should see uh, green boxes around anything that's particularly expensive. Okay, now what surprises me there is, sure enough, the, uh, you know, the, the ad does have a green box around it, but the entire page has a green box around it as well. So that tells me that the, the ad is causing some problems, but there's something much bigger going on here that's causing the entire page to repaint every single time we scroll it. Um, just try and get an idea of what's actually going on here. If I, uh, I disable paint flashing and close that for a second, uh, I'll just run a timeline uh, audit of, of this view. Uh, let's do a quick recording. So um, open your inspector, pop along to timeline, and uh, we'll just hit record, and we'll just record ourselves scrolling this page. And we'll see what's going on. Uh, what I'm expecting to see is uh, quite a lot of peaks at certain points, right? So here we can see that our frame rate is uh, is, is through the roof, right? So we're, we're achieving a very slow frame rate there and here. That does actually correspond quite nicely with uh, the point at which the ad does fix itself. But also throughout here, we've got certain spikes where we're actually um, not, not really rendering as fast as we could be. So I've identified two problems. We've got the ad is definitely causing some issues, uh, but something else is causing the entire page to repaint. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn uh, paint flashing back on, and I'm gonna go to the elements uh, part of my inspector. And um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remove that ad and see what kind of effect that has. Um, so carbon ads container. I'm just gonna delete that. Now of course we've we've lost that big flashing on the right hand side, but still the entire page is is repainting on scroll. The way I would go about targeting this um, is how I'd fix or sort of pinpoint any any UI bug. I just delete things until the problem goes away. That tells me where this problem exists. Um, we can see here this GIF will always repaint. Uh, sorry, this one here. Uh, GIFs are bad for rendering performance. They will always cause a repaint. But still, every time we scroll this page, the entire view goes green. The entire view is, is being repainted. So yeah, let's try and pinpoint what that is. Uh, start at the top of the DOM. Uh, we'll delete the header. Ah, okay, look, that green box has disappeared. So whatever's causing the entire page to repaint lives somewhere inside that header. So if I just uh, undo that deletion, now I'll start deleting things in the header and try and find out what exactly it was. Um, I also actually need to try and bring the ad back. Uh, there we go, so we've got the ad and the header back. Um, so something in the header was causing the entire page to repaint. Let's try this, menu animation wrapper. Uh, I can see here that menu animation wrapper actually has position fixed on it. Position fixed is a huge, huge performance hit, right? When it comes to rendering performance, position fixed is, is, is very problematic. That's exactly why the, the ad on the right causes repaints, because it's position fixed. It's expensive for the browser to, uh, to animate that, um, or rather to, to, to render and paint that. So I'm going to delete this menu animation wrapper. Okay, perfect, that's what's causing the entire page to repaint. We've still got problems with the ad on the right, but we'll fix that separately. Uh, that menu animation wrapper is causing this entire page to repaint. We get rid of that, we get much better scrolling performance. So I'm just gonna pop that back in. And all I'm gonna do is to menu animation wrapper, I'm going to add, will change, and we'll just go for uh, transform. This is a bit hacky. What we're basically doing here is we're telling the browser, 
uh, expect something fairly intensive to change in this part of the DOM. We're telling the browser that this part of the DOM is probably going to have some transforms that are going to change, therefore kind of uh, prioritize their rendering, move it onto the GPU. So if we rescroll this page now, perfect. By tricking the browser into putting that bit of uh, UI onto the GPU, we've managed to avoid repainting the entire page. That's really, really good. That just leaves us with the problem of the ad on the right. Again, it's position fix, I'm imagining a similar fix will, uh, will work. Uh, let's just inspect this. And it's inside the carbon ad container, carbon ad container fixed. Now the developer is presumably trying to circumvent some repaint here by using uh, WebKit transform translate Y. Unfortunately, that's not quite working. I'm gonna try replacing uh, that transform with uh, will change transform. And now perfect, right, that's no longer green either. We're getting a much faster, uh, much faster paint here. Look at that, so we've got, that's, that's working quite well. Okay, so I think maybe we need to uh, undo that deletion and add this as well. Perhaps the other uh, translate is needed. Uh, will change, transform, right? Let's add that you know, additionally rather than instead. Perfect, right. So we've managed to fix two fairly huge rendering performance issues there. The position fixed in the, uh, the menu animation wrapper, this thing here, uh, we can use position fixed alongside will change transform because that's just telling the browser to uh, to promote this bit of UI to the GPU, render it much faster. And it's the exact same deal with the uh, the add wrapper over here, the add container, adding will change transform is now just forcing the browser to pr uh, promote the rendering of that bit of UI. This scrolling now feels a lot, lot faster. That GIF is still a problem. The GIF is still going to cause repaint, but at least we're not repainting the entire page with, with every scroll. We go back to our timeline and we'll just clear that and we'll just run it again. Rerun the timeline. Audit the scrolling again. I'm expecting to see far fewer peaks in this graph. Perfect, look at that. So um, we're still getting certain hits here. I, that's, probably the, uh, that's probably the GIF that's causing that. Um, that, was, that happened quite early on in the, uh, in the profile. Everything else staying nice and flat. We're achieving 60 frames a second here. Uh, so yeah. Position fixed, very expensive property. Uh, we can circumvent the expense. We can actually just avoid the expense uh, by applying will change transform uh, to that bit of UI. I will add some links to the notes for this video so you can do some further reading. Uh, basically, that's how I go about debugging this kind of stuff. I, I find something that feels slow. I then turn on paint flashing. So open your uh, dev tools, hit escape and find the rendering tab, enable paint flashing. Uh, that will show me exactly what's causing the sluggish feel. Uh, running a timeline will show me when that sluggishness kind of occurs, so that helps me pinpoint it further. And then using things like Will Change Transform just tricks the browser into promoting the uh, the rendering of that part of the UI just by telling it to you know uh, expect something to change, expect something intensive. Um, there's plenty more reading on this kind of stuff. I'll put quite a few links in the in the show notes or the uh, sorry the video notes, but hopefully that should uh, help you. Uh, fix these kind of things yourself. Um, key takeaway as well is is if you ever get a bug in some UI, you know, like we had a bug here that's something slow, uh, just delete things until the bug disappears. Right? Delete things until that, that problem is gone. That tells you where it lives. So uh, pinpointing the actual problem part of the UI is as simple as just deleting things until the, uh, until the problem goes away.